long before the word permaculture was coined, Sepp Holzer started to build his dream, a commercially viable, ecologically sound farm. He has transformed his fir tree desert into a farm producing a healthy surplus of food for the community, water and energy for the farm, and an environment that sustains animals, plants, and the soil. Sepp Holzer has learned everything simply by observing nature. His experience is the only source of knowledge he trusts. He discovered the bigger the variety of plants, the fewer parasites there are, and the more stable the system. He applied this understanding on the Kramatorhof by grouping all the plants into what he called plant families. In a plant family, the plants provide each other with the support they need humidity, oxygen, and nutrients. What's extracted by one plant is taken in by another. The plants fertilize and provide moisture for each other. If you have the proper vegetation, it doesn't matter whether it's fruit trees or vegetables, you can see that the plants regulate themselves wonderfully. You need the plants with deep, middle, and flat roots. Deep-rooted plants bring up humidity and nutrients from 3 to 4 meters depth and sweat it out on top. They give shade to the ones with flat roots, so they won't dry out. That's the exchange. One plant helps the other. You don't need to worry about it being too dry or too wet if you work with the earth properly. You have to listen and observe. That's the most important thing. Das ist das Wichtigste, das Allerwichtigste. Sepp includes many rare plants in his plant families, as well as his own crossbred potatoes. And here I made raised beds and put the seeds in. And now you see potatoes growing. After 10 to 12 weeks I can harvest. In 10, 12 Wochen, von einer ganz nassen Wiese, wo richtig stau nass war. Und jetzt ist die Ernte. He has established more than 70 ponds and water gardens with a surface area of more than three hectares. Look at this pond. It is built into the hill. Behind there is the hill. There are the pine trees. They protect it and conserve the warmth. If I put a pond in an exposed position, what will happen is that the wind will take away the humidity and the warmth. It will cool the earth and the water and half of the things won't grow in the pond anymore. So I try to position the pond against the wind and use the sun's heat as far as possible. Also, möglichst verdrehen, möglichst gegen den Wind ausrichten und bestmöglich die Sonne nutzen. Dass man so Art I try to create sun traps. The sun shines onto the water, which reflects the heat, and so I have a double benefit: humidity and warmth. Vom Wasser und ich habe die Wärme. Throughout history, man has changed the landscape for his own ends, usually damaging the natural ecology in the process. But when Sepp remodels the landscape, it is to establish a new ecological system, or biotope, to the benefit of man and nature. The JCB terraces the hill, stopping the soil erosion, so that when there's heavy rain, the earth won't wash away, but will stay put. In the long run, these terraces bring great advantages. I don't have to irrigate. I don't have to fertilize. I rarely need expensive machinery, just one session with the JCB. Once complete, the work will last for generations. Sir Paulson knew that for farmers, water had a wider role to play than just irrigation. He realized it could complement his own permaculture methods. The result, a delightful landscape of interwoven terraces and ponds, and a healthy income. For Sir Paulson, water provides moisture to grow his produce, power to generate his electricity, it provides his drinking water and fish from market as well as his own table. He has shown how the efficient management of water can sustain the environment and improve the farmer's livelihood. Learning from his success will safeguard the ability of future farmers to feed the generations to come. Natürliche Kreisläufe schaffen, 
Create natural cycles, then nature will work for you. Farmers are starting to understand that the time has come to rethink their practices. Sepp Holzer has a great sympathy for these farmers. He wants to help them get back to working with nature. Cooperate with nature. Don't confront it. Confrontation with nature.